If you are looking for a complete how to build a WordPress website for beginners tutorials to build a fully functional professional WordPress website at absolutely no cost to you, then you come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a page like this in less than 10 minutes. And uh, if you have any questions, if you're going to stumble upon some issues, please don't hesitate to ask the question down below in the comments, or you can always join our Facebook group. You're going to find the link somewhere in the top right corner uh, where you're going to find uh, support from us. Um, and there was one more thing. Oh, yes. Um, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you can get this template and dozens of others absolutely for free. So if you want to know how to get those templates, stay with me till the end of this video. Now let's start. Uh, firstly, you're going to need uh, some place to host your website. And there are dozens of different hosting options for you. However, most of them will require you to pay um, something like three to five dollars a month. I'm going to show you absolutely free option. Uh, so I'm going to open the new window. And actually, that's an important thing is that you, the only thing you're going to need is just your browser. We're not going to code anything. We're not going to uh, use any magic or secret knowledge. If you have no IT skills, don't worry. This tutorial is for you. So let's start and navigate to mdbgo.com where you're going to find um, our free hosting platform and sign up here. So provide your name, username, email and password, hit the sign up button and you're going to be registered. Absolutely free. Now I'm already registered. So let me go to my panel. So once you uh, logged in, you're going to see this option MDB go dashboard. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to click on the WordPress because this is what we're going to build today. Um, you can create a new WordPress site and you can choose either to start uh, empty starter so this is uh, or mdb starter this is for the developers this is not for you well, we're gonna have a separate um, tutorial check uh, this channel for the tutorial where we're gonna teach you uh, how to build it from scratch but if you are not IT, if you are not technical, uh, then you should choose one of these options. So you can either go with blog or e-commerce. So if you want to shop, or if you want to sell something, then you should go with either blog plus e-commerce or just e-commerce. I'm going to go with the blog plus e-commerce. Then hit go, provide your page name. Uh, so let's say it's going to be WP start. And then I'm going to use my email address. And then I'm going to just hit go. Um, I also going to uh, check this dummy content. So that's going to uh, create me the page with some initial post. Uh, so you can see how this looks like uh, immediately uh, after creating the page. You can also go with the advanced option. In this uh, option, you can define what's going to be the username and the password for your admin account. So if you want to use some custom, you can specify it over here. Uh, if not, um, otherwise, uh, MDBGo will simply create this one for you. So let's see this option uh, as a starting place. So I'm going to hit go. And now let's wait a couple of seconds to create uh, this installation for you. Okay, once installation is done, you're going to see screen like that. So uh, this is very important because we didn't specify password ourselves. MDBGo did it for us. Um, so what we need to do, um, we need to copy this information somewhere. So store it somewhere. Uh, I'm going to put it aside to my notepad. And now our page is already available at this link. This is, uh, this is our custom link. By the way, you can change that. So if you own your own domain, like um, in this case, I could have my davidadak.com. You can change it later on. I'm going to show you that in a separate video. And this is the link to our admin panel. Let's uh, let's go here. Mm, so let's open the panel and we're going to log in to the panel using this data over here. So admin and then this password. OK, so this is admin and this is the password we just got. And this is how our blog will look like. So this is what you get immediately after the installation. So within just a couple of minutes, we've got our page ready, our WordPress instance ready to use. So you can play with it. You can see how it looks like. Uh, so you have, uh, all, this is the home page. These are the blogs post over here. Uh, here we have some uh, shop options. 
uh, and, the, and as you can see we have also dummy content so so this is pre-filled with data for you so if you want to start so you can just start doing this right away so this is how we created our web page in less than a few minutes and now now i'm gonna show you how you can customize it so if you log into the page uh you're gonna the first thing i suggest you to do if you if you go uh like me with the default option is to go to profile users profile there's gonna be your profile and let's change the password to something which uh gonna be easier for you to understand so uh you can set up your own password here i'm gonna choose mine which i know and i'm simply gonna hit this update profile so from now on i don't need to worry about my password so this is uh this is the first Thing. Now, uh, if you like, you can play with um, this template. You can go update your pages, uh, upgrade your uh, products. Uh, so play with it. Uh, but if you want to use some other templates, you can also do it. So if we go to appearance and then teams, you're going to see option to switch between the pre-installed teams so we have this mdb uh, block with e-commerce over here and some predefined mm, wordpress teams but we can also click add new and this will give us option to browse through different teams and now i'm going to show you how we can get all of these teams uh, which i shown you before uh, so if we go to the uh, to this uh, team options at team over here we can either upload our team so if you're gonna find um uh, some interesting team over the net and you download it as a zip file you can simply click upload team and use this file to uh, to 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 upload to your wordpress uh, you can search uh, or browse through what you can see over here uh, and i'm gonna go with the astra so i'm gonna hit install over here this is the uh, this is the freemium team which means there are free options there are also paid options so it's up to you whether you want to uh, go with the free ones or, or, or not um, i'm also gonna give you uh, the useful links down below uh, this video so you're gonna find more teams more recommended teams from us uh, over there okay the installation is done so now i'm gonna hit the activate button which is gonna activate and uh, this Astra team for us and it's gonna ask us a few questions during the installation and customization now let's just uh, refresh our page so you're gonna see that this will change now to the new team so this is how the new team looks like uh, I think it's quite clear and neat but what is cool about this let me close this um, other tabs we have here is that once we install it uh, within the the Astra options we can um, change the entire layout of our blog but we can also go with the starter template so if I'm gonna hit install importer plugin that's gonna install me a required plugin which will help me to use one of those predefined templates which we have over here so uh, let's wait for this to install now it's activating and then we will move to uh, to the templates so we're gonna skip this part build website now um, elementor um, this might comes empty sometimes that's happening uh, usually what you can do you can try to press ctrl shift r to refresh the page so this is one of the option or if this still doesn't work for you so this uh, astra sometimes has this issue um, what we can do we can exit the dashboard over here and this will get us back to our uh, wordpress uh, admin panel and we can go to the appearance starter templates over here and this is where we're gonna see our templates and now we can browse from uh, hundreds of different options you're gonna see that some of them are labeled as a premium one so these are the ones which are paid so you would have to pay for them but um, you can also choose um, the free ones over here and yeah uh, once you click on it it will allow you to automatically customize it for you so it will ask you about the logo um, about text about the colors so you can you can play with it you can adjust different color themes whatever you like change fonts 
uh, continue and then provide your data, data over here, your name, email, uh, some data for Astra, and then you can decide to either import uh, some existing data if you have them already in the block, or if not, then you can simply skip this part. Let's do something like this, submit, and this will uh, basically install all required plugins and teams and files. Uh, let's give it a sec to finish. Now, depending on the team, it might take some time, but now it's finally there. So if you click view our website, you're going to see that the team has been installed. Voila. So here we have our template installed and our page ready now. It's just up to you whether you want to just leave it as it is or play with it and adjust it. I'm going to have another video on how to work with this uh, templates engine with Elementor, how to change each and every part of this section. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe uh, to our future videos. Finally, the last step I want to show you is how to get rid of this uh, bar over here. Uh, don't worry, other people won't gonna see it. So if we do it in the incognito mode, uh, you will see that this is not there. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to uh, remove it for you if you don't like it. Uh, I personally like it because it gives me the access to um, quickly to all the um, elements. By the way, uh, all the notifications you see here, these are kind of ads warning. Most of them you can simply, uh, you can simply uh, skip. Now coming back, so this is how you, the other people, how the visitors uh, see your page. So there is no bar over here because they are not logged in and uh, let me close it now and for you if you don't want to see this uh, bar simply uncheck this option which you can find over here toolbar so show toolbar when viewing uh, this site just unclick it and it should be gone uh, for you on your page let's check this out and um, meantime if you have any questions, as I said before, don't hesitate to ask them down below in the comments or join our Facebook group. You're going to find a link over there. Um, and if you would like to pay forward, please like this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Please share this video with your friends. Talk to your friends about it, because maybe in this coming new year, maybe they also want to create their own page. And this is the best way to create it absolutely at no cost and no hidden cost. So I think it's great. Now let me just get it back to the normal. And as you can see, the bar is gone. So that's it for this video. Check our other videos. We're going to find more knowledge on how to create your logo for free, how to create your team uh, if you are a WordPress developer, how to adjust it uh, and much, much more. Thank you for watching and keep coding.